These are, without a shadow of a doubt, my favourite playaway days. Because I've got a whole day to myself in the Lake District and I'm going to make the use of it. So I'm here at sunrise. I'm just getting me wellies on because it's raining. Watch the chances. It's raining. Oh. But you know what? It's my play day and I'm not going to let that put me off. I can just get me blasted well he's on. So when I say it's a play away day, what that means is I've got all day to myself. And here in the Lake District, I've got three places that's eluded me. Now there are three classic shots that I need to take for my portfolio. So don't ever be afraid of just taking classic shots. Don't ever be afraid of that. I mean, everybody will photograph the London Tower when you go to London and the London Bridge and so on and so forth. So don't ever be afraid of photographing uh, kind of landmark places or places that's been photographed to death. If you need it for your portfolio, if you want it for your portfolio, then grab it for your portfolio. But in between the three different places, so I'm out from sun, rise to sunset and I've got all day in which case I'm gonna utilize that time wandering around driving around and just keeping my eye out for something that I think might make a nice picture shot number one I'm at the boathouse it's a shot that everybody needs for their portfolio for their landscape portfolio certainly for uh, the Lake District the camera doesn't get run over and at this present moment in time the light is in my favour. I'm just catching the end of that autumnal yellow and green lighting on the trees and it's just absolutely fantastic and making for an amazing picture. What I'm gonna do now is probably put my 10 stop filter on there and, uh, and milk that water and slow that shutter speed right down. But that first initial shot I've just taken now is absolutely awesome. This is definitely a must-have shot, it really is. This is the boathouse in the Lake District, probably the most photographed boathouse um, in the whole of the Lake District, if I'm honest with you, if not pretty much the whole of the UK. But it's still one you need for your portfolio, it's absolutely stunning. And when that light breaks through, if I could just capture that light breaking through, then it's just lighting up the last of the autumnal colours. And they're just there. The yellows, the greens, those golden colours are still there, but only just. But they're being exaggerated and the light's emphasising just the last of the colours on those trees. Ah, the rain has kicked in and uh, there's a low cloud that's forming towards the end of the lake. That doesn't make for a very interesting background, but a bit of a tip for you great use of uh, doggy poo bags <laughs> the lights playing ball but unfortunately it won't stop drizzling and that drizzle is a pain because that drizzle just cast spots of rain all over your filters and all over the front of your lens and it's a real bind um, I'm there with an umbrella as well to try and stop that from happening but unfortunately it's a slight breeze and of course the rain is coming pretty much uh, horizontally and it's coming under the umbrella so it's been a bit of a pain in the backside if I'm perfectly honest with you so I'm just gonna chill out I've got my coffee so I'm okay with that I'm just gonna chill out for a while and uh, chat with these other photographers that have just turned up and uh, we'll see what happens with the weather in about 30 minutes or so Faces talking about problems I don't care 
I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat Everybody's carefree, everybody's carefree Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? Let me very quickly talk you through this composition then. I've got um, kind of the boat moorings on the bottom third. Mid interest is, well, looks like it's either a hotel or uh, another boathouse in the background. And of course that sky is absolutely to die for. So my setup right now is I'm either shooting at a 30th of a second or I'm shooting at a 30 second exposure, depending on whether I'm putting my 10 stop filter on or not. So I'm taking both. I'll show you both results, but what I'll probably end up going for is the image with the water all kind of smoothed out with a 30 second exposure and that 30th of a second exposure, I'll probably use the sky because the sky is pretty dramatic at this present moment in time. But it's as simple as that. It's uh, I'm at f16 and I'm focusing on pretty much the moorings, that's roughly a third of the way into the frame. Get easy, get easy. I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here All these empty faces talking about problems I don't care I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat Everybody's carefree, everybody's carefree Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? If you wanna take a really striking landscape picture and you're not really sure where to go then let me give you a heads up I'm in Derwent Water as I've mentioned earlier on and this place is just absolutely fantastic. Now the shot has been shot a million times but it doesn't really matter, the fact is it's an easy shot, it's easy to get to. Imagine if you're not so strong on your feet nowadays or even if you're wheelchair bound, you can get right down pretty much onto the shore edge and grab all the shots that I'm about to show you in a minute or two. It's really 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 easy but the results are absolutely striking. I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here. All these empty faces talking about problems I don't care. I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching. I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance. Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat. Everybody's carefree, everybody's carefree. Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat Don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party?
made it. I've made it to the bothy. And uh, it's, one <laughs> it's one of those rocky moments. It's such a hell of a climb. It's one of those moments where you just make it to the top and da 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 Except, there's a problem. Hey, I don't think this is worn scale bothy, so I'm not really sure what's happened there. And B, I just don't have much luck with stuff like this. The scaffolding all around it, they're doing it up. Whatever this is here looks absolutely fantastic, but I'm pretty much convinced it's not worn scale bothy. So somebody kind of led me up the garden path, I believe. I might be wrong, but uh, oh, I've got a nice shot anyway, but I'm really gutted, really gutted. There's a hell of a climb up to here. I'm going to carry on a bit further because I've got about 30 minutes before sunset, so I'm just going to risk it and go a bit further. But if this is the body, and it might well be, my timing couldn't be any worse if I tried. Roka Lighthouse in um, Sunderland earlier this year, and of course Lindisfarne as well. Both places I ventured out to for the day, and both places I was let down with scaffolding and workmen and... Uh, I can't believe this has happened again. It's such a shame because I've had a fantastic day. What a brilliant day. I've had a fantastic day out. Um, and this might put a bit of a kiwash at the end of it. If this isn't Warnsdale Bothy, it doesn't really matter. I'll make a note of this and certainly come back when it's finished because there's some stunning shots to be had here. Anyway, my son Grumble, absolutely gutted. Um, moreover, I really don't want to make one of those failure videos because there's so many of them on the internet. I'd just rather not bother, but you know, it happens. That's why there's so many of those videos on YouTube. Ah! This has to be somebody's idea of fun. Let me step back. <laughs> Look. Look at that! You just know this is going to go wrong. Now I don't know whether to carry the camera across to see what happens or put the camera down. But if I put the camera down, I have to do it twice. It's actually quite deep. <laughs> this is going to be somebody's idea of some fun. Let's give it a go. Whoa. This week's channel recommendations is Lynn. Channel out, she's brilliant. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he shoots, he scores. Oh, my lord. I actually got across okay, but when the camera went all funny there, that was me actually getting blown off because of this damn wind. I've arrived at the spot where I thought the Warndale Bothy actually was because the spot where I'm currently at now overlooks Warndale and I've gained access to here from the slate mine, which I was recommended to do. Now, unfortunately, there's 10 minutes left until sunset and I'm gonna have to head back. It's been quite a tricky walk across here. Um, I don't fancy trekking that back when it gets dark and it's about to get dark in literally 10 15 minutes time from now so i'm going to head back but uh, this is my appeal let's get out the wind this is my appeal if i can if anybody can shed some light on where the warndale bothy is i really want the picture for my portfolio um hang on i really want the picture for my portfolio but please don't say head to the uh, mining museum and walk up if anybody fancies a trek up with me that's been here before, that can take me straight there. I'm more than happy to collaborate with somebody. That'd be quite nice, actually. If anybody fancies doing that, just leave a link below. And uh, yeah, okay, Muppetry, that's me. <laughs> but I've had a fantastic day. It's been a great adventure. I've really, really enjoyed today. Got some great shots. And nice shots to add to my portfolio, some simple shots that we took earlier on. And I'm really happy with that. So thanks for coming along on my little journey today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, give us a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. 
there you go that's my adventure for the day done thanks for watching it'll get dark soon but i'm okay because i've got my iphone and on my iphone as we all know it's got a torch on it the battery's got six percent life left in it but surely that'll do all day won't it that'll do all day my old nokia in charge for 10 minutes used to last a week surely i'll be okay Oh, shit.